Hello, traders. Good afternoon. Um, ready to give you one more small, one more short video on um, yen. Uh, if you watch this video to the end, you will also get an update on this, the ones I posted earlier, which is Ripple, CAD, Yen, and S&P 500. So let's go. We're on the daily chart. And on the daily chart, based on wave analysis, you have a move down and a move up. You're in a correction. Eventually, we're going to get a move up here, break this top. And we're going to come back here. Basically, that is the structure we're looking for. This is on the daily. So we will go into the lower time frame. The question you'll be asking yourself is whether this correction is over and whether we're ready for that move. So let's go on the four hour. And in the four hour, you can see we've got two sharp moves here, which is a good sign. We've got a sharp move up, a sharp move down, finishing off one pattern, starting a new one with a sharp move up. And we're in a consolidation. So eventually this will go. The only question you're going to have is, is this consolidation over and ready to go? So far, I don't think it's ready to go as yet because we've got a move down, we've got a correction, we've got another move down. We didn't break the low. So basically, it doesn't have to break the low, but if they break the low, that's great. That is good for us, but they haven't broken the low. So we would look at this piece to tell us where the next trade is going to go. Looking at this piece, I think there's a small trade set up here we might go for, and that small trade might or might not come back to the low. Right? It doesn't have to get there, but if it does come to the low, this would be great because once it breaks the low, we'll be looking for a reversal, a trade set up here in the upside. I will give you an update on this later on as well. But for the trade for tomorrow, which is the trade you could likely get tomorrow, it's going to be a short-term sell. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a possible short-term sell here. Again, you would have to use your stop here. This is, if you, if you, this is how I would trade it if I'm taking the trade. I'd put a stop here. I'll put a sell here and I'll expect this to come somewhere around here. Probably go back up. And if it starts to go back up, I'll definitely look for a buy. But if it continues down and break the low, remember the big picture is upside. If it continues down, break the low, close the trade when it breaks the low and then look for the upside. Now, this is a short trade. You may or may not want to take it. You could actually watch this analysis, wait for it to break the low and then start to go back up or wait for it to come here, go back up and then look for the buy from there. So I'll post an update on the buy for you if, if the buy setup happens. But if you want to take this trade, depends on your skill level, you may be able to manage it. You might end up getting a very good trade to the low and then back to the up. But again, the big picture in the four hour is the up trade that you're looking for. This move when that starts to happen. So keep an eye on this 60 minutes trade, short term downside. That depends on your skill level. If you want it, it could become a flat, which means it's probably going to do this and go back up or it's going to come here and go back up. Either way, it's a nice short trade if you like it. That's it. Let me go very fast through the updates on the one we're looking at. The ones we look at was Ripple and that Cadian first. The Cadian, it's still a very active trade. Like I said, if you had closed the trade earlier or if you put your stop above here, you're still very much in that trade. It's very good, right? So what I would say is either this goes back up, take you out. You don't like the trade if you don't want to get out, but it could break here today. And if it breaks here, this is a trade, which means if you took the trade, if you have your entry here, you can move your entry to this level. If I had an entry there, I'll probably put my entry somewhere to this level. Maybe still keep it here because there's still a chance that this might go back up one more, which means if you're in this trade, if you took the trade here, you might want to close it for break even or small loss and then retake the trade here for this. This is the trade I'm looking for. And then if when it goes there, we are expecting this to break downwards. So if this is going to come here, two things would happen. It would probably get here and go back up, which means the yen might also go down right? They, this is a yen inside it. The yen dollar yen might fall. That might help this trade. If that's the case, if not, we'll see what happens with it, right? So if they consolidate in here, which means if they come back only to about this level and go, well, you will get a break even trade. Try to get the trade somewhere here if you can, if you have the ability to manage that trade, right? If you understand wave analysis. So this is a very nice trade. Very good. These trades very often play out very well. And the next one I gave you was the ripple. I think I also post an update on my S&P 500 that this is a very good trade. And even if you took it, took the trade here and you stayed with it, my traders will take it off for break even and put an entry there. But if you, if you stayed with the trade with your stop here, you can put your stop here now, or you can even put it to break even. Now, if you like, you can take that profit. I don't think that's the profit we're looking for because remember big time, this trade could go up really big, right? This trade could go all the way back to the top here, break this stop. This is the, this is the one you should be looking for and the possibility to go much higher. But let's deal with that first. So if you get this trade, what I would do is I'll move my stops into profit and leave it. Let's see what happens because this is a very small trade. This one could still come back here, make a new low, like I said, and still go back up. This up move will happen. The question is, is it going to happen now? 
That's the only thing you might want to ask. Is it going to be now? No, it's not always now. And who cares? You can't lose on this trade anymore. That's, that's the whole thing. You've got an edge in the market and the edge gives you an advantage. That's what we teach you in Wave Analysis. And remember, I do this. I do 30 plus pairs daily update for my traders. So they get all of that. You want all of that? Send me a Skype message. Um, the next one I gave you was S&P 500. Uh, let's see what that is doing. Very quick. Where is S&P 500? One second, one second. Our time is running out. I don't want good S&P 500. I don't want to make them too long. S&P 500, we broke the top. So if you were there, well, look, this is the trade. Anytime you're ready for that trade, there isn't a trade set up right now on it. So let's assume you'd already sold the trade, right? Let's assume you sold the breakout of this trade, right? It took how many hours? By rule, you should get the hell out of that trade because you see it's not going. We have a rule that says you should get out of that trade if it doesn't go that much. It makes a new high. The question, did you want to buy that? You could have bought it, but that's not the best trade to buy, right? Again, we would wait for the same setup. We'd wait for this to drop. We'd wait for it to make another flag and we would sell it. This move is going to happen. Regardless of whether we break that top or not, this move is going to happen. Now, if they break the top, the move is going to come down and go back up. If they don't break the top, there's a very high probability this thing is going to go down really low. So keep your eyes on this. This is still an active trade. These trades take a few days to happen because I'm giving you forecast. I don't do anything high sight. Anybody who trains high sight, they're super traders. I'm not a super trader. I don't trade in the hindsight. I trade in future. So I give you forecasts and I hope they help you. Thank you very much and thanks for your support. Please share these with people because they, it might help somebody. If somebody was trading Ripple and they were selling it and you shared my video, they'll probably get out of the cell and they'll tell you thank you for it. So please share the videos. I would see all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.